Guyana is just about six weeks away from the nucleus of its 50th anniversary celebrations, which will have entertainment and sports as big parts of the activities. Christopher Jones, Director of Sports, has assured that when it comes to entertainment, some major companies are on board. Uh, Banks DIH, Digicel, uh, GT&T, Hanson McCall, and they will be hosting some mega concert at the Providence Stadium, of which we will see international artists come in and perform. And of course, notwithstanding the international artists, <coughs> our local artists will be gracing the stage in a major way. And this was an indication um, from those companies, because of course you don't want to have, you don't want to celebrate in your country's own, and of course inviting um, a large number of international artists. Mr. Jones was at the time speaking on a program called the Jubilee Stage, hosted recently on NCN. A number of sporting activities are also on the card to bring about unity among Guyanese across the country, including athletics for both adults and children. National Sports Commission, what we have done for 2016, essentially we have dubbed all of our events 50 Shades of Games. Mm. Uh, so essentially not only the, the various disciplines that persons are accustomed to, but of course we are planning to host in all of the regions um, novelty games as well. One of the events that will be a spectacle is the Jubilee Parade the replacement for the Mashramani Parade, geared to bring together many Guyanese at home and abroad in celebration of the 50th anniversary in costume and masquerade. The huge $1 million flag will be hoisted at the special ceremony at Jubilee Park, which will return memories of the 26th of May, 1966, when British Guyana gained independence from Britain and became the new nation of Guyana. As we count down to the 50th Independence Anniversary Celebrations, it is hoped that many, both old and young, will learn more of Guyana's history as we look ahead and prepare for the next 50 years and more. Basil.